Now I can do science and other people won't come in and ask me if I'm making drugs because the answer is absolutely yes. It is. Oh wait, no, it's under the poop community. Oh no, I don't want that either. I can't change it on the app. Also, I really can't see the camera that well because the chat just covers it up. Also, it's 4.30! And I have, like, no data to show for this. God. I hate science. It's just full of sadness. Ugh. There. If I need any more proof, I'm in the poop community. That's a poop. It's not a poop. That's a bit of scientific Play-Doh. Oh man, it's finishing the draining process, which means now I can put the juice in it. Yum yum juice. Oh, you go. It is video games. Life is a game. It's like Tetris. You try really hard and you lose at the end. I've always had hands. Why am I at the lab? It's 3 a.m. Because the equipment I needed was used during the day, so I have to work at night. Now watch as the back well slowly turns more pink. Eventually. Hey! I'll give that another couple mils to wash in before I put a thing in. Assert myself better. I can't. I'm a pushover. Also, I can't drink it. It has drugs in it. If it didn't have drugs in it, it's drinkable. I think somebody in the lab drank it once, and they said it just tastes like Gatorade. Which makes you wonder what Gatorade actually has. Let's see, you'll turn the fluid drip rate down... You want about one per second to get about a mil a minute. That's about right. Then we can take this and drain it out into the trash. And now I'm gonna go and get some brain slices, so I'll be back. Don't steal my results. Just kidding, they're not written on that page anyway. Cut these brains down to size. I'm gonna actually just bring this over here. Leave my dad's shoes alone. I'm lazy and cheap, and I look like garbage, so it's like, yeah, these shoes work. Not as whimsical in the lab as I am on Twitter. I'm also wearing a t-shirt that's like two sizes too big. That I got when I was 14, but it still fits, so whatever. adult extra-large shirts when I was 14. 
but now I still have them. I am an adult, but I'm not quite extra large yet. I'm just like regular amounts of fat. Okay, the fluid level looks good. Let's put the electrodes in this thing and see if it works, which would be nice if they both worked, because the slices tend to get more active the longer they sit, which seems like a paradox, but oops, almost put my hand in the liquid. Don't do that. I don't know how loud the microphone is on my phone, so I don't know how audible I am if I'm not actually facing it. Hopefully, incredibly. Every word I say, I'm sure, is something interesting to somebody. What is that electric farting? Is that the pump? Okay, let's see if it works. Try to tell from my tone of voice if I'm excited or disappointed by the results. I guarantee it'll probably be disappointed. The blam! Awesome! They both are bad! Cool! Now I gotta move the recording electrode and hope it makes it better, except I don't know why these slices aren't that active. Maybe it's a curse. I hate science. I'm no good at it. I don't even know why I'm still doing this. Did that work? Hey! That one is not good. Here's what I'm working with. That top one? Eh, maybe. A lot of these artifacts will wash out. That bottom one? Nothing. Which is a shame. I could probably fix some of the artifacts on that just by turning down the intensity, but... It's not great. It's not great. Let's see... Reposition that, reposition that... And now I bet I have two that don't work, because I shouldn't have touched the one that almost worked. Oh no, that's... Wait, no, that's, that's worse. In case you're ever recording from brains, don't record from one that looks like that. Even though it does potentiate, you do have paired pulse facilitation, which is what you want. That's too spiky. That's not a real accurate synaptic response for anything. It's supposed to be like smooth, and it is not. That is partial ampo response and a pop spike because the electrode is in the wrong spot and or too close into the cell body layer where it should not be. Of course, you only really have a vague idea of where you're putting, you're putting the electrodes where you're, where when you're actually doing it and you have to check the screen to know if you're in a better place. So compare that spiky one with this where it's still a little spiky but the second pulse is a lot smoother. So that's good. That might be okay if I leave it for a while, because you get run up. Effectively, the response just gets bigger on its own for some magical reasons, which you don't totally understand. Uh, it's an artifact, sometimes due to a bunch of things. Um, uh, I might use that one. Yeah. That's kind of high, though. Okay, I think I'll use that response. The other response that's going up, where it should go down, that's indicative, in my experience, of being too close to cell body layer slash white matter, so you don't want that. Oh, turn that off so I don't stimulate the other one. Has anyone in the lab tasted the brain? No, I'd imagine it would taste like booger, but not salty. Did that work? This one doesn't work. I'm gonna throw it out and get a new slice, because I have like 20. No sense in wasting time on brains that don't appreciate you, you know? Uh, 
this doesn't seem like a good slice. I get kind of like irritated at them at a certain point. It's like, look, you know, if I worked on getting a response from you in like five minutes and you're not actually going to hold up your end of the bargain and work, I'm just going to throw you out and get a new one. How about that? I'm going to pick your brother for the position, football, quarterback, and you get to sit on the bench. Which is where that one's going. I'm going to get some more. I'll be back. And by some I mean one, because I think one of them's usable. Got my slice. Yeah, I get brain slices from the science deli. Armando, who works the counter, is giving me a special price. Which is why I have so many slices. How long does this get to clinical trial? Oh, I don't know. My projects haven't been going very well, so... At this rate, never! Yeah. What do I do with all the non-brain rat bits? Uh, eat them for food. No, they just get disposed of. Sorry. Okay, let's try that. And did it work? Hey, that's not that bad. It's not that good. Eh, I don't like it. I got that on the second one. Yeah. The response is too small. But it's at least an indicator that the cell is, or the slice is alive and will respond. So that's a good start for the first probe. This looks a little better. How big is the fiber volley? It's about 0.6. Uh, I don't like the kinetics of that one. Let's change the position a little bit. How do the kinetics look now? Better, kind of. Are they better? I don't know. Fiber probably got bigger. It's not supposed to. Uh. Eh, it's possible. The problem is, you really want to be sure if your slices are going to work before you actually start the experiment, because it's a case of like, well, I could spend an hour on something that doesn't work, or I could put an extra 20 minutes into being totally sure it's going to work. So now I move the electrode and I'm getting... Uh, is this good? No, I don't think so. This is huge. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, yeah. No, that's... That's okay. Um, it's not ideal, but I'll take it. I wish it were a little bigger. But during the... Baseline, it might get okay. And that one is fine. Yeah, it's not the best thing I've ever done, but I'll take that. Slice. Okay, so I have IJ, this is gonna be K.
Man, I hope these both work. I've been having such bad luck today with the beta. I don't really have that much to show for this. Let's see, that's being stimulated at 0 0.2, 0 0.42 millivolts. The other one is 0 0.2 or milliamps. The other one's 0 0.2. 0 0.42, 0 0.2. Talk about in that is 0 0.18, 0 0.58. That's 0 0.76. And the other one is 0 0.11, 0 0.55. That's 0 0.66. There. Science. That's what I'm working with. That's running out of science juice. So let's add a bit more juice. And then spill some. So, whatever. What's the drip rate on that? That's pretty good. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I knew I did that. Oh. Uh, I bumped the thing with my hand, and now I lost the other recording. Awesome! Uh. Okay, I think it should be okay still. Nope! It's sort of there. Did I break the tip? No, okay, the tip's okay. You made me do this. That's the first time I've done that in a really long time. That's like an especially dumb thing to do. <laughs> okay, so how's this look? Uh, that's a little better. If I crank up the juice... Eh, no, I liked it before. Is that? Uh... Eh. The biggest problem with bumping the tissue is that you end up tearing the electrode all the way through it and you can't use it, but in this case, it was in there very, very superficially, so it's okay. Didn't really break it. Which is also why it came out so easily. Whoa, that's gigantic. Turn that down, turn that down. Eh. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not crazy about these responses. I think they're too big. They're not too big. I think it's mostly APA. Uh, well, how's the placement? Well, it might be okay. I'll have to see how it works. If it doesn't work, that'll just be another string of responses that are no good, so I guess that's something I would have gotten used to by now. Okay, so this is being stimmed at that and that. Oh, so that's pretty much the same intensity, so let's just turn that up. Put that and that. Okay, could not find the name. Whatever, don't care. Great. Man, that is full of artifacts. Two point two PPF. That's what point one seven plus point five seven is point seven four. And wow, this one is way bigger than I wanted it to be. Point two. Now let's turn that back down. It's kind of too high. I'm not comfortable having it that high. That, 0 0.22, 0 0.66, 0 0.88. Okay. Okay, and 
single stem, turn that off, and hit it. Okay, uh, I don't like the bottom one as much. But now we wait for that to go for 10 minutes for baseline. So now I wait. It's weird because the chat is on the screen and I can't see my video through the chat very well, so I don't know if there's a way to like make that more transparent. Probably not. There's a button? Oh, there's a button to just hide the chat, which is right next to the button just stop it, which seems sort of not like a thing you want. In case it's like, oh no, I accidentally ruined it. Oh wait, I should have written this down. Uh, duh, 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 duh. 0.15 plus 0.55, that's 0.7. Wow, this is going to be really sloppy. 0 0.2, 0 0.6, that's 0 0.9, 10 minute baseline. Radical. These are not great. Uh... So, before I said if it's really spiky in the beginning, that's bad. You might be wondering, although if you are, you'd be paying a lot more attention than I would have expected, so good on ya. Um, you might think, but Tim, these are spiky too. You said that's a bad thing. And it is. But before, when they were spiky, they'd come up and be flat. Now they're spiky, and they go out like that. So... Effectively, if this spike weren't here, the whole thing would just be smooth all the way up. If you get the artifacts out, like that. Um, and when we wash in some channel blockers, it'll clean up the artifacts and make it all smooth. Makes it a lot smaller, too, but... Let's see, what if I turn the brightness down? Not sure if there's a way to make the save more battery. I didn't have a lot to begin with, and this is not good for it. Uh, no. So the red science juice is just red science juice, uh, which is yeah, the drip rate's about right. The red science juice then gets infused with. Oh, almost dropped that on the floor. That would have been bad. Gets infused with. One of these, or one of those, which I meant to do today, but the problem is I had to get some other trials done before I could go on to the other drugs, which I haven't tested yet, and unfortunately, it's been going really slowly, so I haven't gotten to the new ones yet. Maybe if both of these work, I'll try the new ones, because I'm only going to have like an N of 4 for some of the groups, which isn't really enough. Ideally, if I had two slices that both worked for each one, whereas I only had one, I could have had an N of 5, and that would have been fine, but I don't. So it isn't. But I'm not going to have it all done tomorrow anyway. So I guess it's on a huge deal. The keyboard is incredibly nasty, and one of the little feet on the bottom has broken off, so it is constantly lopsided. Hooray. So the bottom one is suffering from a case of run-up. Uh, not a big deal, but you'll notice if you see where the cursor is, it'll start getting a little bit bigger. Like that. Um, every 20 seconds it pulses. Uh, which is why you have to give it a 10 minute baseline, because it'll just sort of get bigger. It eventually stops. But, um, yes, yeah, so you see it, it's getting slightly larger every time. It's moving farther past the cursor. So I had a lot of experiments for a while that were ruined by that. Because I didn't have the baseline long enough, and the run-up would keep going up even during the time where the drug was being washed in. So I thought, oh, wow, look at the effect that the drug is having. It's gigantic. But it turns out it was all just run-up, and I was just an idiot. So, hooray! How many good recordings does it take to determine a result on a drug? 
Uh, a lot. Uh, it depends what you're trying to do. I mean, theoretically, you do like wholesale recording and not slices, which is what I'm doing. But some people already are doing wholesale, which is like infinitely harder uh, for this. And I'm doing fields. So that's in a slice. A whole cell is an individual cell that you like put the electrodes onto in a slice, which is like way harder because the scale is way smaller. But yeah, I got into a really good groove of recordings with these for a while. Um, and then I ran out of drug. I had to order more. It was back ordered until November. So I got it from somewhere else. It just arrived. And my streak of getting a crap ton of data has ended. And now it has just been really frustrating with things not working. Quick, here's a hint. What drug is this? Uh, the label wore off. But it's yellow, so you can tell. Oh, I just got some in my hand. Awesome! Again. No, it's DNQX. It blocks AMPA currents. Hooray! The x-axis is time, but it's a sweep, so... Every recording sweep that I have on here lasts for 100 milliseconds. Every 20 seconds it does a new sweep, so it kind of like... We'll just do a new one of these every 20 seconds. Kabam. How do I make a sad cell to test then less... Wait, what? How do you make a sad cell to then test less sad drugs on as opposed to a brain? Uh... That's a good question. That refers to the wealth of hypotheses, hypotheses, hypothesi, whatever, that uh, try to link depressive and hedonic behavior with biological, physiological markers. So. It mostly comes down to like measuring, oh my phone's dying, measuring either currents through specific receptors, if like certain receptors are up or down regulated in certain pathways and reward systems, or for what I'm doing, specific pathways that are known to be impacted by stress and depression and all that. So this is not that, these are not depressed animals, these are just regular animals. It's my science. Oh man, eight minutes, then I could wash the DNQX in. Let's play a game. I need 60 microliters. Do you think that's about 60 microliters? I think it is. Let's find out. The answer is yes, it is. I keep getting it on my hand though, which is not cool. You might be wondering, why don't you use gloves? To which I would say, I don't know. DNQX gonna give it to you. That's pretty good. Now I get to wash the magical yellow stuff into this in 20 seconds, and then that's gonna turn yellow briefly, and then it's gonna go back. And then you can see something amazing happen over the span of like 10 minutes. Okay, put the drug's in, then turns orange, then turns red again. Which you can't see because I need my hands. 
I, yeah, I do real science. It doesn't amount to anything, and all my work is bad, and everyone is disappointed. But other than that... Oh no, this one's experiencing rundown. That's not good. I'll have to keep my eye on it. I'm sure the other one's fine, though. 0.24 plus... D N Q X. Kabam! So now... If you pay attention to this, if my phone battery holds up, which it very well may not. And... Gawk at this for a while, you'll notice it's going to get a lot smaller over the next... Uh, drip rate is about right? Over the next seven, eight minutes? It'll be interesting. No, it won't. You'll know, it's a pretty dramatic effect. It doesn't happen until a certain time, though. So it's not gonna, like, gradually get smaller. It's gonna wait, like, five minutes, and then it'll go down a little, and then a little, and then a lot. Sometimes it gets bigger before it gets smaller. That's a weird thing. It used to happen to me all the time. It doesn't happen to me now. Not sure why. Might have been a different pathway. Uh, I have a lab coat, but it's just one of those, so I just grab it off the thing. It's not, like, a special one. They're all kind of gnarly. I don't wear them unless I have to. How expensive was this drug? Uh, this is DNQX. I don't have a lot because I was using it. Uh, it's about $90 for... 10 milligrams? Not that much. Might have been 25. This is APV. This is like $300 for 10 milligrams. Except there's a company you could buy it from that doesn't have a science name that you can get it for 80. And I had a whole bunch of experiments that I used that for, and they didn't work. But that was also during a period where I was doing a bunch of other experiments, and they also weren't working. So I don't know if the drug was bad, because it was incredibly cheap. It came with a free pen that had, like, a suction cup on the back. Uh, but I don't know if the drug was bad or what. <laughs> the pen was pretty bad, so... Most of the compounds we use are just, like, relatively expensive, but not, uh, crazy expensive. So this might... it's a little early. Might be because the drip rate is slightly too high, but it's not a problem as long as it's consistent. If you notice the next trace, it might get smaller, so these slopes here might get wider. Um, maybe a little. Normally it's really dramatic, so when it happens you'll know. And it's not like a, no wait, look at this part! Like the whole thing will just do it. Not too keen on this getting smaller. This, this part should stay the same. Okay, yeah, now it's definitely getting smaller. You can tell because a lot of the extra artifacts that were in the way are not there anymore. And this will probably get shallower and shallower until the response is like, Zip. It's probably not going to be that big. It's probably going to bottom out around here. But, uh... Yeah, so this is not using magnesium. Magnesium... Uh... Inhibits calcium interactions with vesicle binding proteins, so effectively if you have no magnesium, you have less inhibition of neurotransmitter release and you get like crazy responses that are just full of noise and artifacts. Which is why they look really sloppy at first, but when you wash in drugs you wash out the main excitatory part and what you have left is not as noisy. That's noise. That's not great. That'll probably flatten out a little bit. Probably not a lot. 
but whatever. That's just the fact of life. Does the pen I'm holding work? Yeah, it's a bic. I don't know where I got this from. I think it was in a coffee can. Yeah, God, imagine if Twitch TV had to pay for all my lab drugs. Guys, I gotta do this experiment. You gotta fork over like 500 bucks. I need antagonists. Look, that cleaned up. Ta-da. I don't want it to go all the way. Like, if this goes all the way and it's flat with this part... I'll be very sad, and that'll make me depressed. I'm already depressed, but like, even more so. Let's change the scale. Because <laughs> it needs something to work. Effectively, it needs some response left, and if the whole response goes away, then there's no way to know if it's going to change, because you don't have any. This is work. Do my reports get constantly looked over, or is this like a, if it works, let us know? Uh, a bit of both. For this, the person that I'm collabing with is uh, somebody I update on this usually the day after. I'm not, I'm not digging how much that one's going up. So somebody asked before what the post-its were. That's, these are my paranoia post-its, where I could see if it's going up past the post-it. If it keeps doing that, then it's time to panic. If it doesn't, then I'm good. It'll probably keep going up a little, because it's only been six minutes. But hopefully not a lot. I don't really need to know if it's changing, but for, like, peace of mind, it's kind of nice just to keep it there. So, it seems like it's stabilizing, but it's hard to tell. I'll give it another three minutes. Because if this goes flat, then I won't know what the drug would do to it. Which means I can't use it, which means I just wasted time sitting here. How annoyed do I get on a daily basis doing this? Uh... There are good days and bad days. Today has not been a good day. So this one seems to... Mm, well, it's going up a little. This one mostly seems to have bottomed out. A little bit. That one is going up more, which I'm not thrilled about. Um, I could change the scale, but like... I don't want it going up more than that. It might. But that would be a shame. Okay, it seems like it's starting to stabilize there. You rub naked people's muscles. Hey, I could use one of those. As long as I can keep my pants on. I haven't gotten a good naked muscle rubbling, rubbling, rubbing in a while. No, don't go up! Stop that. Go back down. Go down. Line up with that post-it. Oh. Man, that's not gonna be ideal. What is the size of this? Point 0.1, that's point 0.46. Technically, that is slightly smaller, so it could average out. Um, not 
to please. And these slices are only like... Oh wait, it's 5 o'clock. Uh, only like 4 hours old. It's not... that old. Jobs are dumb. What's the point in earning money? You're still gonna die. Alright, that's been 15 minutes, or 10 minutes. Uh, if this stays consistent for the next few traces, I'll probably consider that fine. Doesn't look like it's changing much. I have 8% battery, by the way, so this is probably going to die. What's my job? Lab rat. I can't plug my phone in. It's USB-C. I don't have USB-C. The only thing I have is this wireless charging pad that I stole from somebody in the office. And it's not that fast. Oh, and then I bumped the computer and now the, like, the whole trace got screwed up. So now I have to wait. You're watching the Poop channel. This is a live recording from Poop. Now I'll go back. Next trace. Right, right, great, whatever. That first trace, probably trash. Whatever. I'll have to write it down anyway. Okay, so that's at about 45 mils, which means it needs 450 of drug. Which is JK. It's been a bad day for science. And record. Man, that is not going to be fun to analyze. These are all too small. Uh, that one's pretty much bottomed out. Ouch. Four, two, two. Where'd that go to? One, two, that's point six two, and the other one is one. Two seven thirty minutes. K four fifty U L and or forty five M L. Great. Alright, well my battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna go and turn this off. Okay, have fun.